As you have been sculpting with ZBrush Core, you've probably used single axis symmetry. In addition to single axis symmetry, ZBrush Core also allows you to use radial symmetry. To start off, I just have ZBrush Core loaded up and Lightbox is open here, and I'm just going to load this jewelry signet ring project in. So I'm just going to select it in Lightbox here and then simply double click. After this has been loaded in, if you hover over your model, you'll see that it already has single axis symmetry active. So this means I can sculpt on one side of the model and the other side will be updated as well. Now the options to change how this symmetry is affecting your model live under the transform palette up here. So if I hover over the transform palette and open this up, you can see down at the bottom we have the symmetry options. Now any palette inside a ZBrush can be docked over to the side. So I'm gonna just take this transform palette here and I'm just gonna click this button at the top. And this is going to dock this palette over on the side. This is gonna allow me to change these symmetry options here without needing to come over here and click on the transform palette. So let's say we wanna sculpt in a radial fashion on the top of the ring here. So right now our symmetry is set to the Z axis. So you can see this is the position of the ring here and the Z axis is coming in through the middle. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this to Y. I'm gonna turn off Z and then I'm gonna enable radial symmetry. So that is this R button right here. So when you activate radial symmetry, if I now come back across the model here, you can see I'm getting this effect on my mesh. So with say the clay buildup brush selected, if I hover over my mesh and sculpt now, you're gonna see it's going to be affecting the model in a radial fashion. Now the amount of times that this is affecting the model is relative to this radial count slider right here. So currently this is set to eight. So as I sculpt on my mesh, it's being repeated eight times in this radial fashion. If I come over here and change this to say 16 and then go back to my mesh, it's now going to be repeated 16 times. So as you're working with radial symmetry, you can change this radial count to update how many times this effect is going to happen across your mesh. So I'm gonna come through now and just sculpt some flower shapes here. So I'm gonna change my radial count back to eight. And I'm just gonna show you how quickly you can come through and use radial symmetry to generate different designs. So with this signet ring here, I'm just gonna sculpt some floral patterns. So I'm gonna start drawing out some flower shapes with this. So just focusing on, on one of the shapes here and using this clay buildup brush to add volume to this area. Now this mesh is a dynameshed object. So at any time, if my mesh starts to look pixelated, I can hold control and drag off the model like so and release and it'll be re-dynameshed. This is going to even that surface topology and allow me to continue sculpting. I'm just gonna describe some floral patterns here. And I'm gonna come in the center and just repeat the process as well. So this is very handy for generating all sorts of different designs on your meshes. And read Dynamesh. And then just continue designing and shaping forms on the mesh here. So add some quick leaves here. And you can see it's being wrapped all the way across the model. And see now I've created something like this. Now the radial symmetry will work with any of the brushes down here at the bottom. So if I say select the damn standard brush and come across the model here and start sculpting with this, it's going to also be affected by that radial symmetry. If at any time you want to turn off the symmetry, you can come over here and click the activate symmetry button, which will turn off symmetry. Or correspondingly, you can also press X on your keyboard. And this will toggle symmetry on and off. So that is a quick primer on using radial symmetry inside of ZBrush Core. For additional tutorials on ZBrush Core, please visit Z Classroom.